What's up guys, it's Eric. I've got the new Arma Mojave EXB a full option roller, the 1.7 scale Mojave. Uh, this is one beautiful truck. Uh, you know, the Mojave was one of my, you know, it's one of my favorite rigs. I mean, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, one of the toughest as far as straight out of the box. And, uh, you know, my older model Mojave, I, you know, I completely put that truck, you know, through its paces. And, uh, it, and it just held tough. I mean, it handled any terrain, just floated right over anything. It was just, you know, just a complete hoot to drive, you know. I mean, it wasn't necessarily the sending vehicle, but, you know, but it would jump. Um, so I had, you know, I had a ton of fun with it. And this is the new uh, EXB uh, uh, version. Uh, as you can tell by the body, it's got the awesome uh, EXB, you know, color scheme and, and, and graphics on it with the black and, and matte silver and, and uh, matte black and stuff like that. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful styling. And I'll uh, pop this body off real quick. Of course, it's got the Velcro on the sides. You know, it's got the, got the cage in here with the, with the little dudes in it and <laughs> to give it that kind of a scale look. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And looking at the truck here, again, it's got the 7075 uh, chassis. Uh, uh, shock towers, uh, you know, the servo mount. It's got the aluminum uh, EXB braces in it. I mean, this this black on red just looks just looks so awesome. Uh, it's got the limited slip diffs. I uh, just like the just like the crate and roller in the front, in the center, and then an open rear. Um, the shocks just feel super super plush on this truck. I mean, that's why this truck handles so good over rough terrain, and this hovers over basically anything. Um, and one uh, really cool thing is they got their, they're using the gray wheels on here and they also did a plus one millimeter um, You can't really see it, but they did a plus one millimeter on the uh, wheel hexes uh, You know to eliminate, you know, or to try to eliminate any of the, the wheels of you know rubbing on the hubs uh, Because with the first version we were having some issues with the you know with some with some rubbing uh, Which was causing the wheels to uh, fly off, you know to loosen up your wheel not to loosen up and stuff like that So hopefully that's going to stop the issue, you know with M2C racing we you know we came out with the hubs that was a plus two millimeter that also gave you the option to run two wheel nuts right here you know if you really really wanted to lock it down so that's always an option as well uh, if you just want to further upgrade it uh but it's but this truck you know definitely it's definitely uh looks like a beast out of the box <laughs> i mean it's absolutely beautiful of course there's the chassis got all the uh exb ness on it so I'm looking, uh, definitely looking forward to giving this truck a run. Um, I'm going to be dropping in probably a 4092 uh, 1730 KV in here with either a Max 8 or Max 6. I uh, haven't decided on that yet, but so I'm definitely going to be weighing this truck down a little bit more um, than my other Mojave that I'm still running the stock um, um, electronics in it. So I may go up to a thicker shock oil because the Arma does use the 550, I believe it is, a CST in these shocks. Um, so I may thicken it up, you know, just a little bit just to offset, you know, some of the extra weight. Uh, the diffs are your standard uh, 10k, 100k, and 10k. Um, you know your your standard setup, uh, which works really good for just killer killer handling. You know, and just full diff action. Um, you know, again, I may thicken the center a little bit. We'll just we'll just play around with that. You know, as it goes. You know, once I get once I get a feel for the limited slip. You know, in the in the Mojave. So the tires uh, feel really good. Um, they got the the good old Mojave tires, and they are pre-vented from the factory. And as you can see, it's got the you know the, the standard Mojave bumpers on here. You know, in, uh, in, in skid plate configuration, uh, which, you know, which does work really well. Um, as far as the body mounts go right here, um, I would definitely recommend putting in this, a piece of stiff foam to slide in there and zip tie it down. That's what I did on the other Mojave uh, pretty early on, and it definitely helped save the body mounts because it is, it is a little bit thin right here, and it will snap if you have hard enough of a roof landing or a bad enough roll. So that definitely, definitely takes care of that situation. But overall, the truck just looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to uh, get her get her fitted up with some electronics and uh, give this baby her first run. Uh, here's a quick shot of the box. You know, just like the uh, crate and roller. I mean, it's got all the all the same goodies in it, but in the uh, but in the uh, Mojave package. So I uh, can't wait to give her a rip. A uh, huge shout out to uh, Arma once again for coming through with another uh, awesome uh, option in the EXB line, and uh, just can't wait to uh, get it out. All right, guys, got the electronics thrown in it. Um, you have to excuse my voice. I've had some bad allergies here lately. <laughs> but I've got the Hobby Star 4092 1730 KV 23 tooth pinion uh, Max 6 ESC on Max Punch with a Power HD uh, waterproof uh, 23 kilogram servo. Um, and I did go ahead and go through the front and the rear diff, and I threw in the, the uh, Kyosho 96772 13 by 16 shims. Uh, one shim on, each, on uh, each front and the rear just to tighten up that ring and uh, pinion mesh a little bit. And then I also checked the shimming on the 
on the rear open diff. I know the uh, EXB Creighton, uh, some, you know, a few guys were having some issues with that, but I went ahead and added some extra shims in there as well, just for the added security. Um, and I went ahead and threw in, uh, like I mentioned before, some extra foam under these body mounts right here. I th it's kind of a stiff foam. I threw a block under here, and then a block on top, and then zip tied it in. And it makes for some nice, nice cushion up here. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier too is they did go ahead and throw in the EXB uh, three millimeter. It looks like a three millimeter stud style shock standoff. So, which is a really nice, uh, a really nice upgrade. Um, you know, just kind of run through your truck, guys. Uh, I would check your screws. I would check your wheel nuts. Um, I had one wheel nut that was kind of loose. So just make sure everything's snug down and uh, and ready to go before you first run. And uh, you know, check your diffs. Uh, you know, I had to add a little bit of oil to my to the rear, uh, you know, while I had it apart, but it, but it wasn't too bad out of the box. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna give this thing a quick run. Uh, uh, again, huge shout out to Arma and Horizon Hobby for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, give this truck a uh, you know a run and review. Uh, again, the Mojave is one of my favorite trucks. It's just complete beast mode over over big terrain and rough terrain. So, can't wait to give it a rip. Um, I'm not gonna be driving in the dirt right now because we've had so much rain lately. You know, it'll just be a huge uh, a mud fest. <laughs> So I'm just gonna give it a couple street rips and uh, just kind of see how she handles, kind of speed we get, and we'll get out in the dirt as soon as it dries up a little bit. All right, guys, let's see what's up. Oh, that was close. She's definitely fast, guys. 